he wouldn't have never gotten it. So just being in the right position for mm-hmm. him to give us what he is wanting us to have, I think that really stuck out to me. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Amen. Anybody else? I want a couple of more. I got some real quick for myself. Let me see here. There we go. Oh, yeah. So for myself, what we really uh, hit home was when you were talking about the universe and breaking down the universe. <laughs> how it how it you know with one voice and you know because you know i mean i think that's a good um uh ministering method because you know you got guys that saw that believes in like the universe and you know and this and the big bang theory you know but if you Mm -hmm. you look at the origins right just one vert voice right frequency and then how it was you know and how god created the universe it leads right back to the gospel right that's right so that that I was like, man, that's awesome, you know. <laughs> and then and then when you were speaking about the tribulations, how the tribulations are gonna bring us back together. But yeah, that 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 I, when I seen that, I was like, that that is awesome, you know. Especially at work, you know, the guys, you know, saying believe in believe in this and believe in that. Like, well, if you look at the origins of it and what it means, it's gonna lead us right back. You that's know, right. Years. One single Later. spoken sentence. They can't mm-hmm. escape it. That's why if you watch the History Channel, no matter what they talk about, they talk about. Uh, aliens, they'll bring up the Bible. They don't bring up the Quran. They go to the Bible. They talk about this. They go back to the Bible. They always just watch them. Satan always shows his card by mistake. Oops, put that one back up. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Angelina Jolie can go on her movie and do Zen Buddhism all day and nothing happens but the passion of the Christ get made and it's an outroar of telling the story we all know. He literally was killed, <laughs> right? This is a story we say every Easter. We say every Passion Week. We say every Christmas time we talk about Jesus. But when it came time to show what really happened, and they didn't even show all of it. But when they got close to showing how horrible it was, they were protesting because the wow. enemy knows. And they know, they know. There's a great scientist that said, we know that the theory of, of, of evolution, macroevolution, is not proven. But we, we are afraid of the latter, which means if we have to believe in Jesus, then he has some rules, and we don't, we don't necessarily like those rules. <laughs> Amen. Ooh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, DJ got a question. Oh, you just giving your worship on, DJ? Go <laughs> ahead, man. <laughs> he like, Ooh, they can see me. <laughs> I love you, man. All right, give me one more. We're going to go forward. We ain't going to be here long, so that's why I'm doing that. Okay, DJ was raising for mommy. (laughs) Good job. Look, he did it again. (laughs) Uh, One of the things that was very powerful is when you said God is not a history lesson. He is alive today. Yes. If you listen to messages, they talk about him like he's dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. He ain't dead. He ain't dead. (laughs) No, he is not. That's what that's what the angel said. He is not dead. He is not dead. He is risen, just like he said. You, now, I don't know what everybody else said, but what he said is on the third day, I'm going to rise again, and he got up, and they don't have his bones. You can go to the tomb right now. It's empty. Yep. They fighting over the, the, the shroud. Oh, this is the shroud of turning. I was like, I don't know where that turning is. That's somewhere in Europe. I know, <laughs> amen, but his shroud, maybe he has a print of his face. I don't need a print of his face. I can just go to seek his face. Personally, amen, amen. But that is profound, Sister Erica. That is definitely profound, and it is the truth. He is he is still alive. Now, look, we're going to go forth in the word today. We're in Ephesians. We're going to chapter 2, and um, I'm just determining how we're going to do it. We're going to just talk about it kind of like how we did the last two times, or are we going to get into some lessons? We will get into it in the sense of teaching you how... I might do that, teaching you how I'm seeing it. Does that make sense? And how the Lord is showing it to me. Now, and then you see what the scripture says, but you can teach it. How do I, I'm saying this wrong. If I were teaching a bunch of pastors, the way we would talk about it would be different. We would talk about how we see it, how the Lord is revealing it, not necessarily what is revealed. So this is, why, this is the way where you can, you never grow tired of the word of God. Never. 
You never can right. because, man, you could we could go right now to Jesus wept. Jesus wept, period. That's the shortest scripture in the Bible. Some of y'all know it. You've said it around many a table when they when they force everybody to say a scripture. And I get Jesus <laughs> wept. You're like, oh, he got mine. Now I got to do John 3, 16. And I don't forget if it's soul love or dead love. And now you, didn't, you don't got none of the scriptures, right? right? So Jesus wept. The Bible says that Jesus prays over us with weeping. He weeps when I pray. Oh, and then that ties me back to Psalms where he says, David said, upon my bed, you will, I will eat tears. I've eaten tears on my bed. And up, when I rise up in the morning, wow. Tears. The, the, I heard a pastor, Leonard Ravenhead, said, if I were to give a course to pastors, I would give them a course on weeping and a course mm -hmm. on wailing. You can stand up and preach dry eyed. Something is wrong with you. What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. The word doesn't impact you. Do you know who you're talking about? If you did, you wouldn't sit there like that. <laughs> Amen. And little scriptures just started to take hold. And this is where you dig deeper. People think quantity is the thing you want. It's the quality. It's the comprehension of what you read. You want to know new things. Do you know what you know? Yes. <laughs> Do you know what you know? Do you really? I mean, you know it. Yes, God, God is a, a, a God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. Okay, you went through that very fast. <laughs> God is a what? Spirit. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? God is a spirit. Numa. <sighs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, man. And then you say, oh, he breathed. Jesus breathed on the 12 disciples. Jesus, God breathed into Adam. Oh, man, Jesus breathes on me when I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. And this is where you start taking stuff that you already knew. And then you start saying, oh, man, I didn't know. I thought I knew. I had it, but I didn't have it. <laughs> Amen. I heard some of y'all talking. You all have been having that experience a little bit with the scripture. I do that, too. The moment you get to the place where that doesn't, doesn't happen to you, you are in pride. Mm. Mm. Pastor of thousands in pride. The word mm. doesn't move you. Ooh. The word moves God. Mm -hmm. And he wrote it. Mm -hmm. He knows every possible outcome. Every possible interpretation <laughs> and revelation. He knows it all. Mm -hmm. And when it's spoken to him, it makes him smile. Okay, there go my son. There's my daughter. He wants us to just repeat it to just repeat it to the Lord is my shepherd. All right, okay. let me shut up because that's a whole nother okay. thing. That's a that's a name of God. The Lord, our shepherd. Sister Stacy, remember when we went through the names of God, the Lord is my shepherd. And it, it has many meanings to it. The way they wrote it, they wrote it where the scripture, the, the letters had staffs in it showing that he would beat you with the same staff that he guides you with. And if he beats you, he doesn't beat someone that's not his child. So every whooping from God is a blessing. Mm, yes, it's yeah. an identifier yeah. that yeah. I'm his. I know I'm my mama's son. Cause she beat me every morning. Right. <laughs> she looks, she saved, sanctified, filled the Holy Ghost. But she's a professional whooper. You don't know it. You can't see it because she's getting old. But she she knows how to curl the extension cord and extend it when you run. So you try to get away. Amen. And we didn't have a hotline to call back then. But I knew she loved me because if she didn't love me, she would have just let me go on about my business. Right. So let's right. go to Ephesians chapter 2. And let's get in the word of God. Amen. Read that for us, Sister Trina. Verse 1. And you have he quickened mm -hmm. who were dead in trespass sins. <laughs> Where in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Mm, stop right there. You were, this is this the, the title, I guess, if you would get if I were to give it. We're gonna read verses one through three. You were a dead man walking. <laughs> Paul is telling us you were walking around, but you were dead. It's like uh on death row. 
when you and I'm not talking about the group. I'm talking about the, the real death row. <laughs> Right. When you when you get ready to when you were get ready to be killed, they would they would have something, you know, like the movie Green Mile. They called it the Green Mile because it was a short walkway in the hall, but the floor was green. But that walk, you knew you were never coming back. So even though it was a short distance, it felt like you were walking an entire mile. It's the Green Mile. And as you would walk, the per the, the guard in front of you would say dead man walking. Mm -hmm. Dead man but he's walking. He's been here two years on death row. Just as good as dead. He was sentenced to death two years ago, but he hadn't physically died yet. Mm -hmm. And we live in the most beautiful death row of all time. <laughs> Planet Earth, the world has become the death row for the nations. They were sentenced to death from birth. You, man, when you understand that, it changes when you think he saved me. Yeah, he really saved you. He saved me. You were on your way to hell. Hell is a penalty for a crime. <laughs> Not a crime against humanity. Not a crime against the angels, not even a crime against yourself. It was a crime against God. Matter of fact, the Bible, we're going to learn later on, he says that we had hatred between us and God. I know you can't believe that. How on earth could that be? But the Bible says there was enmity. That word literally means hatred. Hmm. The Bible says God is angry with the wicked every single day. Lord Jesus. He does not sleep. So why are you sleeping? While I was sleeping, sin, he was angry. And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. There's an old, old sermon, I think it was by Jonathan Edwards. And he says, it was, it's called Sinners in the Hand of an Angry God. It's one of the most profound, they, they study it in, in seminaries. He didn't, he didn't get it in seminary, he got it from God. And he just wrote it down. God gave it to him, he wrote it down verbatim. And when he got up to do it, he did not put any flair to it. He just read it. <laughs> Number one, the Bible says that, 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 that. Number two, the people were in such an awe of, no, not awe, fear, that they some of them jumped up and held onto the pillars in the church building. Mm. They, they, they said they felt like the ground was opening up for them to fall into hell. And they said, what do I need to do to be saved? And you know what he did? Mm. Nothing. If you want to be saved, meet me here tomorrow. Not today when you feel it, when you're excited. You know, you can do that. The music is playing. Come on down. Now. Hallelujah. And you never see them anymore. They come down and just as fast as they come down, <laughs> they leave out and be like, man, I'm telling you, God is real, bro. I'm telling you, man, I was feeling that up at church. They had me. <sighs> you didn't get saved. You got emotional. He said, meet me tomorrow. The numbers dwindled. He said, good. Now we can see who's really here. And then he started to convict them of their sin. You were not, you were not just doing bad. You were not a good dude. You were not a good girl. Think about that. The Bible says to him, you were dead. Read it, Sister Trina. I'm just, I'm going to talk to these three. If I don't, if it, if I don't get this point home you can't get saved without knowing that if you think that you had some parts of you that was good you are not saved because you didn't repent amen repent means change your mind if you think this is okay you didn't change your mind and if you right. didn't change your mind how could you turn and walk to jesus yes you still on the same road yes, you didn't get yes. off that road Hallelujah. You didn't say, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Let me get off at this intersection and make a U-turn. You said, I'm good to go. And you in the same car driving, getting the same way to destruction yeah. is your end destination. And you think you're on your way to eternal life. That's worse mm -hmm. than, but if you, I would rather be a man that knows I'm going to bust hell wide open than to think I'm good. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to yeah. God. Come on, Sister Trina, read it again. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. Dead. <laughs> dead. 
you, we were dead in need of resurrection. Mm-hmm. This changes how we witness. That statement he made in verse 1. We're going to look at the he quickened you. That word quicken means to bring back to life. <laughs> he didn't just, you didn't just, you know, this is why I, when I listen to like great speakers, you have great speakers who are not believers whatsoever. And they talk about you want to get the knowledge and the knowledge, you know, whom the, you know, the truth shall set you free. It will, but it can't set a dead man free. Mm-hmm. You can't hear the truth. <laughs> he got to open, he got to raise you from the dead in order for you to hear the truth so that it can get down on the inside. If you dead, I can spit truth all day at the cemetery. Oh, my brothers, let me tell you this. They did the <laughs> bones rotten can't do anything with that information oh my brother you're a dead man walking brother yes but you got to understand brother the knowledge of Allah has brought me mm-hmm. to the truth you are dead uh-huh. and he cannot bring you back to life cannot. no no there is only one who in his hand is the power to live and to die, to kill and to bring back again is Jesus Christ. That's why he looked at him and he said, Pilate said, don't you know I have the power to free you? He said, no power is given to you unless it was given to you from heaven. <laughs> who speaks like that to the man that can kill you? And then he got bold and said, no man could take my life. I give it up freely. And if I give it up freely, I will take it again. And then he stopped talking. You know why? When you got something, you don't need to talk about it. That's why Jesus, you know the song, he never said a mumbling word. Because if he did, he might have said, get him, Lord. And everybody would have, oh. <laughs> he'd have killed the whole world, just wiped them out. You know, his daddy was like, Michael and him like, we, st- Lord, Father, we strapped with all type of new stuff. They ain't never seen ray gun swords all mixed together and all this. T- we would go down there invisible. Nobody can see us. Everybody just die. We chopping heads off in the spirit. What do you want us to do? Jesus even said that. Don't you not know I can call for 12 legions of angels. Preach. One legion has 12,000 soldiers. And he could call for 12,000. I would have wiped. He would have wiped out earth. He would have more angels on earth than human beings. He says, nevertheless, <laughs> not my will. Why, why are you dying, Lord? Because I got to go where they are. Mm. Yeah. They're dead in sin. And I'm going to die for sin. <laughs> you see, I, look, I'm just showing you how, how the Lord reveals yes. it to me. Look, they're dead. We're all dead. They don't even know. They're dead. And he's dying to go and get them to bring them back to eternal life. And I think the first one to realize it was the centurion. He looked and his eyes were just open. He said, truly, Mm -hmm. (laughs) this was the son of God of Yah. (laughs) All right. He said, so look, you were dead in sins in need of resurrection. But the Bible does not say you were dead in sins. What does the Bible say? Sister Trina? Trespasses. Trespasses and sins. Tres- mm. tres- transgressions. You can write this or trespasses. Excuse me. I don't know why I wrote transgressions. Tre- tr- uh, trespasses literally means to fall over and over again. <laughs> Just falling. Mm. Falling, falling, falling. And sin means to miss the mark. Mm-hmm. We have a whole doctrine of sin, hermarchia. It's just, but it just literally means to miss the mark. You want to do this, but you don't do it. All mm-hmm. of us still mm-hmm. miss the mark. Bishop, apostle, prophetess, prophet, uh, great pastor. It don't matter. I'm the man. Oh, I've been, I'm walking with the Lord. I'm doing so good now. But if somebody was able to rewind the tape, you didn't, you weren't walking, listening to Shirley sees at 20. <laughs> you know, believers try to act like I've arrived. You know what I mean? I'm good. You good. So you've arrived. I haven't. I haven't. Paul even said, I think I've, when I try to think I'm apprehended, I, I apprehended him. I didn't. Mm-hmm. Paul finally said, I finished my course. Woo. 
I finally made it. Time to die. <laughs> Time to go see Jesus. And even then, you ain't got it all. If it was not for him dying for all of your trespasses, every time you fell and you got back up and I fell again, he says, come on, get back up. Fall again. Get back up. See, the sinner wants that. The believer, the person that's not born again, they're not saved. They're not regenerated. They haven't been mm -hmm. resurrected from their sins. So they want to say, well, all I got to do is ask God for forgiveness. A dead man can't talk. Right. <laughs> but I can talk. No, you're speaking to other dead people. Your words can't be heard by God. Only way your words can be heard by God is if God opens up your spiritual mouth. That's why the Bible says in 1 John, no man can say Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Spirit. What he's saying is this, a, a demon can say Jesus is Lord, mm -hmm. but he can't truly say it and mean it without mean it. being <sighs> resurrected. Mm -hmm. Jesus is Lord. Then you start making songs. He is Lord. Mm. <laughs> right? You just do it every type of way you want. He is. I didn't know it. How many of y'all had that experience? Were you like, ah, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> but you know what I mean? you like, Eureka, whatever words you want to use. <laughs> All right. How did I not know this? You start saying, man, I was so stupid. No, you weren't stupid. Man, I was just so ignorant. Oh, no, you weren't just, oh, I was so lost. No, you weren't lost. You and I were dead. Dead. Think mm. about that. Mm. Laying in the casket. Look, I'm just taking my time with it, y'all. Just bear with me. I only got three verses. I'm laying in the casket. The body is laying in the casket. The family only has a little bit longer to view the body. They're about to close the casket. If he goes in the ground, he's done forever. Mm. I'm walking around, but I'm really in a casket. The earth was my casket. Mm -hmm. And when I finally, this body gives out, it's like them closing the casket finally for the family to never see. Mm -hmm. And once wow. they put you in the ground, daddy's gone, Jonathan's gone, mama's gone. When they were closing the casket, Jesus stepped in. Yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. I don't mean to hit that so hard, but it just made, he stepped yes, in and said, wait. Yes. In my name. <laughs> Raise. <gasps> yes, Lord. The old slave trader. Who, who was bringing African slaves, black slaves to America, probably raped, killed. His eyes were one day open and he said, what do I write? Amazing grace. Mm -hmm. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch. I enslaved people. Mm -hmm. I once was lost. But now I'm found, I was blind. You weren't blind, brother. You were dead and you just couldn't see. But now, right. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. You shook off the rigor mortis of that old nature, that old man. Hallelujah. This is why the Bible tells you to be baptized because he's burying your old person, the old mm -hmm. you. A dead man needs to do what? Yeah. Get in that grave. You burying them. But I'm not getting in the real grave, which is hell. I'm going down in the waters of baptism. And in the yes. name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes. I'm raising up, raising up. Yes, Lord. a new creature. Old things have passed away. Yes, all right, yes, let me go on here. And behold, all things have become new. You were falling. Yes. You were dead. You were dead and falling over and over again. Your body was alive, but you were dead. Mm -hmm. You were as good as dead. I was too. We were trapped in the sin. You can write this down. We were trapped in the sin equals death cycle. Mm -mm. Trapped in it. You don't have to commit one sin to go to hell. Did you all just hear what I said? Yes. You don't have to commit one sin to go to hell. Just be born. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you were born. That's why you got to train up that child. Mm -hmm. Teach them. <laughs> they might take a little long. Some of them do it a little long way. Some of us are them that went the long way. <laughs> hint, hint, me, right? Go the long <laughs> way. But if you don't put it in them, 
they could go astray and just not know. You got to mm-hmm. tell them the gravity. I think we live in a society where we don't like to hear that. We like to hear, people want to hear that, I'm a, I'm a good dude. I'm a good, I was a good guy. No. Good by whose standard? Yours? <laughs> it's not your standard that counts. God, one sin is punishable by death. One. One <laughs> lie is punishable by death. Execution. We think that's unjust. You would you could you picture that if you go to court and the, and you the 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 policeman said he lied to me. What? Kill him. <laughs> I sent this you the electric chair. You be like, "Oh lord, I'm sorry. Please." <laughs> right? I'm sorry. Oh, please, please, please. Death God is holy. Mm-hmm. He can have zero I'm like, why would, how are we even going to be and have the blood of Jesus has cleansed you. You don't have to feel the blood of Jesus. It's still working. <laughs> Glory to God. And when I mess up, I can go back and say, Father, oh. he be like, you missed the mark. Blessed for you that I have a bunch of blood in store yeah. for you. So you got to, you got to, I think we live in a society where we are, we are, we love comfortable lies. Mm-hmm. Yes. We yeah. we adore them. We lo- we we love comfortable lies. Yes. How do you, how how do I look? I got on a, a orange polka dot shirt. That's two 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 levels too small, right? Two sizes too small. My stomach poking out. And I'm like, hey guys, and I got my hand on my hip. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I got on white jeans with with black sneakers. And the sneakers got the whole toes is out. I said, I'm cutting these out. I'm making them sandals. This is a new thing. Nobody's seen these. I cut the sandals. And you're like, oh. And I haven't brushed my hair on my teeth. How do I look? Can we go out? And like, Apostle. Yeah. You, it's okay. All right. All right now. <laughs> Start saying all these things instead of telling me, sir, you look horrible right now. You just look horrible. You wear, you wear white, white pants. Why you got the orange polka dots on with them shoes with those, right? Where, why you cut holes in the socks and the shoes, sir? That's not necessary. We're going to help you get dressed. We don't want to do that. We want to make people comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. You're okay. It's just, it's just, it's just who you are. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't want to be who I was. Who I was got in trouble with the law. Yes. <laughs> Y'all missed that. Yes. Look, Did y'all get it? Got in trouble with the law. The, who I was got in trouble with the law. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. The law of God. I was against it. Everything he said to not do, I do did. Yeah, and I know some of y'all saying, I never killed anybody. Do you know the Bible says that if a man is angry with his brother without cause, he is a murderer? That God views you yeah. being angry without a reason as murder? Bro. People thought Jesus was lighter than the law. No, he took it up to show you you can't do it. He said, it has been right. said, thou shalt not uh, commit uh, adultery. He says, but whoever looks at a woman and lusts has yeah, committed, you don't even got to do the act. Just look at it. You did it. Like, I know they was like, well, pff, <laughs> Lord, we all guilty. My point exactly. <laughs> you, you all are all guilty. That's why I'm here. Well, I heard you said that he just went, he took it up a notch and said, you can't do it. So let's keep it, it. Let's keep it going. You were stuck in the sin death cycle. Sin produces death. The payment for sin is death. So Mm -hmm. you came into the world in sin for something you didn't even do. Mm -hmm. Adam did it. And Mm -hmm. Adam passed down sin upon all all humanity. He was the first. Very important. This is why Jesus is called the last Adam. One of his names is the last Adam. The first Adam messed up everything. The last Adam, which is Jesus, not the second Adam. He's the last one. He did it correctly. That's why Jesus had to be born on the human body. So that he could live sin free to show us that it's possible. (laughs) He was tempted. You know, Jesus was tempted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To the point that God was like, I'm not even going to make him look good. I'm going to make his right, body not right. look that good. Right, right. But even then, you know the ladies was probably loving him, healing right. the sick, 
walking in the city, thousands of people. Yeah. Come on now, ladies. Y'all know. Yeah. If y'all yeah. man got people saying, oh, this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, everybody want their husband to be the man. Who don't know? Don't nobody want to be like, oh, that's your husband. Who is he again? Don't nobody want to know that. <laughs> right? You want the man. That's why all the famous guys get the girls. They walk in. Hey, how's it going, sweetie? Right. <laughs> right. And then you come along. Don't nobody know your name. She's like, ugh, no, I'm okay. You look, I look better than him. <laughs> so Jesus was walking around healing the sick and raising the mm-hmm. dead. Everybody mm-hmm. knew his name. The rabbi of rabbis, he's single girl. I don't know if they talk like that back then. Right, right. <laughs> but are they with it, anyone? <laughs> Jesus was like, the devil is a lie. I got a mission. <laughs> Amen. He was tempted at all points, but he was he was on a mission to break that sin death cycle. Sin mm-hmm. equals death. The moment you came into the world under a sentence of death, sinning, you were just going to do what was you. Mm -hmm. It was in us. Everything that we, look at this. I I, I said it like this during the week. I said it to the Lord and he probably gave it to me. But everything you did wasn't wrong, but everything you did was tainted with wrong. All right. Because the Mm -hmm. nature by which it came out of was corrupt. Mm-hmm. It's like if you have a corrupt virus on your computer, if you take a file and send it to someone else, the act of sending that to them is not wrong, but the, right. <laughs> it's been infected. Right. <laughs> so Satan twists mm-hmm. everything. That's why everything mm-hmm. human beings do that's good, mm-hmm. we mess it up. That's what, that's why he probably said that um, our righteousness is as filthy it's rags. It's filthy rags. We know mm-hmm. how it is when we're trying to clean something that with a filthy rag. It may be clean, so we think, but the smell tells us otherwise. Right. That <laughs> you can spray it with Clorox all you want, but the rag is dirty, bro. You, mm-hmm. I put on deodorant, but your a whole outfit stinks. It's sweaty. <laughs> can you put on a whole other outfit with the the, the order right and this is the, the it was t- everything we do as human beings t- it comes out wrong like give you an example the internet greatest probably the greatest invention in the history of mankind mm-hmm. greater than the wheel i mean yeah. literally you have access to pretty much all human knowledge every last one of us do we don't use it but you have access to go on your phone and access mm-hmm. all of human knowledge in the history of mankind today yet on that same invention you can set traps as a pedophile and mm-hmm. abuse children. And they do it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Just think about everything man made. And you'll find that they, okay, the, the car, the automobile. Ooh, beautiful. You can drive and don't have to uh, uh, feed the car. It ain't a horse, right? You can drive all day. Yet and still, when you go to the automotive industry, they're robbing you. Mm-hmm. Aren't they? Do y'all see what I'm mm-hmm. oh, there's something good, but there's going to always, something is going to corrupt it because we're corrupt. All right? All right. I think I had a question. We had a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a question. Go ahead. Okay. When Jesus walked the earth, he was the son of man. Right. But he was 100% man. He was 100% God. Right. So, he, the scripture said all points he was tempted like we are right. is it because do you think it was his prayer life that he take that he was very <laughs> focused about to keep him from sin because he prayed all the time so he had was it his prayer life that kept him from sinning in the flesh because it gotta be the man not he's the son of he was a man but he was also God right mm-hmm. right Prayer, prayer, you, prayer is asking God for something. When you in prayer, if you do it correctly, you'll get in his presence. His presence can help you abstain from sin. That's why if you don't have a prayer life, you are going to mess up. Or if you, it's a hundred percent, a thousand billion percent. It's like, no, 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 no. You're going to be messed up. You got to go. Well, how do I pray? Get on your face and t- just mess up until you. <laughs> so he depended on God. But yeah, that's not was... what kept him. He was different than us. He was the first okay. pure blood since Adam. That's what Adam was not born in sin. Adam was not born 
Okay, okay, I got it. Now. Adam was made a create created an adult. He was he lived nine hundred and plus years as an adult. He never grew up. He never was an adolescent. He was never a toddler. He didn't have to learn how to walk. Who was going to teach him? God was going to be out there. Come on, son. No, <laughs> or God's like I got other things to do in the universe. I teach this little baby how to walk. Let's be an adult. Or he just was an adult, right? And he was born, not born in sin. That's why Adam, when he came into this world, when he sinned, his eyes oh. were opened. He mm -hmm. was able to see okay. that he was naked. Well, he knew he was naked, but he knew what, he immediately knew what he could do with his body. And it wasn't good stuff. And because he wasn't <laughs> born in sin. Jesus wasn't born in sin. He, he didn't have to worry about sinning. Right. What but you, he was still but tempted. The Bible say he was afflicted. In, uh, yeah. Yes, he was tempted, he was but he was tempted. able to do it because he was pure from sin. Our biggest problem is we tasted the forbidden fruit. Yeah. Worst thing we could do is get we 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 are so eager to to take away our own innocence. Mm. Until we realize it's too late. That's the truth. We are almost like we're in a rush trying to do it. No, 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 no. Or somebody takes it away. Mm -hmm. Right? But Jesus walked with that innocence and he preserved it in order to die for us. But I want to get back to these. Apostle, can I ask you something on that one? That's, that's, yes, that's, yes. We are, because uh, this week uh, it, it came to me that that same question that, that uh, Minister Deborah had, and I thought, I'm going, perhaps he never forgot where he came from and why he was here. Right. And so it's not like he wasn't tempted. He was tempted, but he always had his eye on his father. He knew, he remembered why he was here. We, we forgot. He's a kid. Yeah. <laughs> but remember, remember, I want y'all to remember this. The key... Is mm -hmm. not because because he got weak. He he, he could have. Uh, we act like we weren't in danger of him saying no in the garden. He said, "I could have let this cup." He said it. Let mm -hmm. it go. Let this cup pass from me. Pass from me. If he had did that, all of us we would not be here. I wouldn't. Not we would be alive, but we would not be here. I wouldn't be saved. You wouldn't be saved. None of us would be here. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Think we would just be doing our own thing. Probably never even meet really. Or getting drunk or something together, having fun, or or not even getting drunk, just having a great time on our way to, <laughs> right? No sacrifice mm. Right, and even then, it wouldn't work because all of them couldn't go to heaven. None of the people in the Old Testament went to heaven. They went to the waiting place. Matter of fact, they were st in the same place as where hell was. They were just in a place on the other side of a gulf that was safe. Mm -hmm. But they mm -hmm. could not be without, no mm -hmm. man can come to the Father Mm, but but back he in. said it and we miss it. We think we see it, but he's like, you don't understand what I mean. David cannot come to the father. Abraham, none of them can come to the father mm. without me. Mm -hmm. That's why when he rose from the dead, and I'm not trying to go off point, but when he rose right. from the dead, the Bible says that mm -hmm. they saw many people who were dead walking in this because they could not go to heaven before him. Wow. They had wow. to wait. <laughs> They were seeing people who had died walking around. And, why add that into the scriptures? Jesus, when he, when he, it's like when the woman got ready to touch him, he said, don't touch me. I have not yet ascended. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My ascension is the next part. After I do that and present my, my, my myself to God in the book of mm -hmm. Hebrews, it says, God, Jesus went into the real tabernacle in heaven and yeah. offered his own blood before his father, like the high priest. He was the high priest oh. and the sacrifice. He went up mm -hmm. and did it. And once he did it, the father said, they are forgiven. It's pronounced. That word pronounced forgiven is literally justified. They are justified. And then he said, come on, David. <laughs> he emptied hell. <laughs> now we are here and we get access to go that way now. We get to do that. But they didn't do that then. They didn't go to heaven when they died. Hold on. So yeah. did, he, did he get both from both gulfs? I'm did, sorry? The one, so did he retrieve people from the, the hell side and the, 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 the heaven side? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm sure this is, what, this is the reason I, I say this is because the Bible says he preached to those who were in captive mm. captivity. Mm. Those who were in hell before, they had not heard about Jesus. 
this is the problem with us, because guess what we have? We heard about. We heard, yeah. Yeah. So it ain't no, it's no second guessing coming out of that. All right. Yeah. So I, look, if I'm confusing anybody, just bear with me. I'm, I'm going to go back to the text, but you can go back and watch it. But as you go along, I want to be able to hit all, all kind of points. We're going down the rabbit hole, but this is a good rabbit hole to go down. Yeah. It's, a, it's a necessary rabbit hole because we, verse one talks about us being dead and trespasses. And sins. Mm -hmm. so when, she talk, when she's talking about Jesus being tempted at all points like we were, yet it says yet he was mm -hmm. without sin. So the no. reason he was able to overcome everything, one, he's got, <laughs> but two, mm -hmm. he was without sin. And then we could even further go a little bit deeper where it says walk in the spirit. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was getting ready to say that. That's the real, that's the actual only answer. Because his spirit wasn't going to sin. That's the thing about us now. And, and we haven't got, we, see y'all trying to make me go to Romans after this and do a book on study on Romans. But the Bible talks about that after you get saved, that your flesh is the one that sins, but your spirit has been purified. Your spirit has been saved, but your flesh is completely mm -hmm. unsafe. You gotta, you gotta, you don't even gotta try to save it. Just beat it. <laughs> Get the word of God. In. Apostle, is that is that why we gonna be changed? So yes, he gotta give us a new sinful flesh. <laughs> if not, we would be up in heaven, messing up, right. falling. The, oops, day. Lord, oops. He'd be like, no, they gotta get out of here. <laughs> they up here messing up people, trying to knock chunks of gold out and sell. He'd be like, it ain't no eBay up here. Are you selling gold chains? Hey, God, right. you know I got some of these gold chains. Away with him. <laughs> Away with this heathen. He can't let us up here. That's why I'm trying to warn everybody who is everybody. in sin. Yes. Look, you are not. He didn't mean for this. What we saw when yeah. we were born, he didn't mean for it. It was not. That wasn't his. That's why I told you, you always go back to Genesis. Mm. Everything in Genesis mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is under attack today. Yes. Yes. My think, Lord. Just think about everything in Genesis. Who created yep. the world? The cre mm -hmm. How it's to be set up? Male and female. Uh, mm -hmm. Who has dominion? Who's yes. the marriages? Who's in charge? I heard somebody say, I don't believe in wow. gender roles. Well, if we don't know our role, how are we going to win? <laughs> if you got a team right. and don't nobody know their role. Hey, y'all, I'm not the point guard. Matter of fact, I ain't none of these positions. You be like, bro, you got to be one of them. Who do I pass to? I'm not passing. I'm just going to do it myself. That's how we are literally going through this world. Uh-uh. I'm going to make my own money. And then the husband is like, I would like to provide for you. I don't know why I want to provide for you. God mm -hmm. put it in them. Just stuffed him with provide, provide, provide. And you're like, uh-uh, I don't need you. He's like, right. Lord, why he always, why he don't talk to me? Because you don't need him. <laughs> and then the husband come on, get in there and cook my food. See, this is why I don't want to have no rolls, because you in here always telling me to bake rolls. And you, <laughs> amen. <laughs> Everything in Genesis is under attack. Be fruitful and multiply. Attack. Abortion. Mm -hmm. God said be fruitful, kill the babies. Mm-hmm. And then every time I say that, they're like, you're a Republican. I said, no, I'm not. I'm not crazy. No. <laughs> you're a Democrat. No, I'm not. What are you? I'm a part of his kingdom. No, you know who I am? I'm just like Jesus. I'm he who was dead. And now I'm alive. And I'm going to be alive forevermore. I got eternal Man, let me do it like the old folks used to say, everlasting life. <laughs> right. I got life yes, everlasting. Yes. Everlasting life. God. God raised up Lazarus from the dead. Lazarus died again. Yeah. He yeah. got old and died. There was all Jerry's oh, daughter. God raised her from the dead. She got old and, and she yeah. died again. But us, we can never die. All right, let's keep it going. I'm going get, to get, get y'all out of here. But I could just stop there. I don't know. Any more, Any more questions? Any more questions? Any more questions? That was a great rabbit hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent rabbit hole. Amen. That's so look, let's that. read verse two. So There's it's... question in the chat, Apostle. Okay, go ahead. I want them to say it. Oh, 
Stacy. I want the unless your phone is messed up. I want them, the people to say I'm not looking at the. I know. It's messed up here. Oh, uh, it's okay. If your phone is messed up, we can have Prophetess read it. I would try to read it, but the way my eyes are set up, um, <laughs> where are your glasses, Apostle? Where is your glasses? <laughs> It says, can you speak on the significance, if there is one, between trespassing and sinning? Trespassing is falling over and over again. You fall. I fail. I can't keep my balance. I'm not strong enough. I'm crippled spiritually. Um, another, another, another word, they got several words for it, but like several words for trespasses. Another word for trespasses is like, uh, in the Old Testament, it's bruise, like a bruise, like blood under the skin, mm -hmm. right? So if you if you bruise, you're not bleed, you're bleeding, but nobody can see it. It's bruised, it's mm -hmm. under the skin. So the Bible says he was wounded for our transgressions or trespasses. That's how I mess those. I keep messing those words up. Transgressions is bruised. Trespasses is falling and uh, sins is missing the mark. So that transgressions, it says that the sins that you couldn't see on us, Jesus was wounded. A wound means they punctured his skin and his blood came out because yours didn't. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> you get it? So where was, do iniquities come in? I keep messing them up. I'm messing them up. See, y'all messing me up. Forgive me. <laughs> transgressions is missing the mark in the old testament let me give them to you slowly again because i'm rushing wait a minute transgression okay, is missing yep. the mark in the old testament it's the same word as sins in the new testament missing the mark iniquities is bruised mm -hmm. oh okay. i said that wrong he was wounded for our transgressions but he was bruised for our iniquities mm -hmm. charge it to my head not my heart so re if y'all watching this if you a scholar or something I didn't miss it. I ain't lose it. <laughs> and trespasses means you just keep falling over and over again. If somebody mm -hmm. keep falling over and over and over again, something is wrong. Mm -hmm. Something is wrong. Unless they're a babe. If they're a baby. If DJ falls, he's a little, little babe. Well, I'm sorry, DJ. You're a big fella. Forgive me. But when he was younger, way back in the day, DJ, wink, <laughs> wink. That's my little main man. When he, if he would fall, his father and mother would be like, oh, and just walk off and leave him. He's not doing right. He just, something is wrong. No, he's a baby. He's supposed to fall. And then daddy and mama help him get back up. Now, if he's 38, they're going to say, son, get in the car. We got to go to the hospital. Something is seriously wrong. You shouldn't just keep falling. Hey, how you doing, mom? Boom. Hey, how's it going? Oh, this is what the believers do today. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Oh, there's some trials and tribulations. I'm out. Right, Boom. Right. Oh, Lord. The best ability is availability. And availability mm -hmm. makes, produces reliability. If you ain't available, you ain't reliable. And I ain't going to use you. Yeah. I'm just telling you now so you hear it from the horse's mouth. And that's not y'all on YouTube who's going to hear this. I'm talking. They know I'm not the believers I'm talking through hear me. I don't do it because God can't. You ain't reliable. If I give it to you, you're going to get Butterfingers. You're going to be like this. Be like, Give me my phone back. You're about to drop my phone and break my phone. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. If I'm sitting up there and I'm about to fall off a building and you come and you stretch your hand out, grab my hand, and it's shaking, <laughs> nah, I'm going to take my chance of just crawling back up. <laughs> Amen. Because you are shaky. Amen. Come on. Let's go ahead and read. Can I, can I ask you something real quick? Do you think... Um, trespasses and sins could kind of be like trespassing is when you keep slipping and falling into something kind of like something has a grab or a hold on you right but sin is you deliberately or instinctively do committing something that you know is wrong Would but that kind of it, it, it can be but you can miss the mark and think you're doing right mm-hmm Right. How many of y'all ever played darts? The picture of missing the mark is literally a person doing a bow and arrow shoot at a target, trying to hit the bullseye, but you missed it. Yeah. Paul said, I want to do good. 
Mm-hmm. But every time I try, the stuff I don't want to do, that's the only thing I end up doing. Wake up in the okay. morning. Okay, today I'm good. I'm not going to smoke a cigarette. Nope. Not a cigarette. You know, this is, I, I had to quit smoking, so I know what it feels like. None. None. Cigarette. Cigarette who? Cigarette who? Cigarette where? Mm-hmm. Nowhere I'm going to do a cigarette. I'm not smoking. No cigarette. Spell it with me. Cig. C-I-G. Rhett. <laughs> I don't remember how to put all me the T's and E's, but we're going to do the cigarette. I'm not smoking a cigarette. What are you going to be doing about the end of the day? I'm just sorry. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Because you didn't spoke about it all day. Your mind was focused on hit the mark. Don't smoke. Mm-hmm. Yep. Don't smoke. Yep. And then you, if you try to hit a bullseye, that's usually when you don't hit the bullseye. Do you know how we hit the bullseye every time? Mm-hmm. Holy Spirit, can you throw this dart for me? <laughs> <laughs> and the Holy Ghost would be like, all day. And he, hit 17, he hit 17 bullseye in a row. If you just walk in the Spirit, you won't fulfill the desires and the lust. All right, come on. Look, y'all got me. We ain't going to move past verse one. (laughs) That's okay with me. We'll go. We'll do it. Go ahead, Sister Uh, Jerese. Oh, go ahead. You had a question, Sister Jerese? I saw your hand up. No, no, no. That was Sister Deborah, Brother Minister Deborah, that had that hand. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I just, I was under the impression that our iniquities is a hidden scene. Yeah, it's a bruise. It's like a bruise. It's underneath the skin. It's I just oh, said it wrong. Okay, a bruise. Yeah. Okay, bruise yeah, I said it wrong. Okay. That's why the Bible says he was bruised for our iniquities. I had him wrong. Okay. Wow. Amen. Okay. Okay. Read verse one and two again. We're going to give you verse two, and I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to give you these points fairly quickly. <laughs> and you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world. In times, go ahead. According to the prince of the power of the air, Mm -hmm. the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. It's very important as believers. He's when he says he says he gives you some words that make you to understand that he's not chastising the believers. He starts off, and you have, he quickened. Half is past tense. Mm-hmm. Who were, you were, di- look at the scripture. I want y'all to see it. Yep. He's telling you that even though this is past tense, it's not to be ignored. Believers ignore where they came from. Mm. And even in the natural, if you don't know where you came from, you ain't gonna know where you're going. You'll get to the point where you can actually believe that you were rolling. You you know, God, you know, I transformed my life. God helped me, but, you know, I ended up turning it around. Really? <laughs> right. You turned what around? Dead man walking, crying and stuff. Please, <laughs> Jesus, don't send me down to that electric. And then all of a sudden you didn't got saved and saved, saved from your sins And you have arrived. You don't even think about it anymore. But here's Paul, a Jew of Jews. Right. Circumcised on the eighth day from the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin. A Pharisee. Set at the feet of the greatest lawyer. Teacher of the law, Gamal. Mm -hmm. Consented to the death of believers, was charged, was such a demand that the Sanhedrin gave him orders to go and capture and beat up and hurt Christians. Right. Now he got saved and he says, I'm the least of the least. <laughs> and you have he is mm-hmm. in your past. Mm, hallelujah. <laughs> Ooh. People love to bring up all the times, how many times you done missed the mark, how many times you done fail, how many times you did this. All you have to do is let them know, I know I did all of that, and I, it makes me things. grateful. But yeah. it is past. Yes, well, let's say it like Jesus said it. It, it is, is finished. finished. Is finished. Yes, <laughs> finito. <laughs> Done. Yes. But you were in trespasses and key, sins. Keyword were... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was. 
I was yeah. there. Oh yeah. In yeah. times past. Past. Yeah. Sure was. Yeah. In times yeah. past, what did we do, Sister Trina? We what? Two words. We walked. Walked. Write this down. You gotta watch who you walk with. Ooh. <laughs> True that. We walked right. with in times past, we walked. After the course of this world, we were walking with, you had no choice but to walk with those who were dead. Right. You ever seen The Walking Dead? Yeah. They, they, they come together in herds. They could just walk around by themselves. And sometimes they do just ah, stuff falling all off them. Just thinky. Just walking around. Ah. I don't know how they catch anybody. You, a baby could just... Right. Little DJ can just walk away. They crazy and walk away. You can have all the little babies and Taylor probably could outrun them, you know, run some of these walking dead. They just walk so slow, but they catch grown people. But anyway, they herd together because they don't kill their own. Mm -hmm. They agree with their own. They don't mm -hmm. stink to their own because mm -hmm. the, they all smell alike. Well, I'm missing body parts. It doesn't matter. You are too. Man. Boy, you look good. Yeah. That's what that means. Ah, you look good, right? This is the walking dead. This is how we were in sin. You're just like, I'm just trying to live my life. What are you doing, uh -huh. man? I'm living my life. YOLO. Just go. Every generation had a word for it. Wow. YOLO. I'm just trying to tear the roof off, right? <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Do me whatever. Jive turkey sucker whatever. Just you know, I was telling somebody. I said my mother and father when they probably met. He, he probably was like Earth Angel, Earth Angel. <laughs> I was like, you can, ain't no way you can get a girl with saying Earth Angel. Earth Will Angel. you be mine? They be like, mm -mm, no. <laughs> Amen. But in every generation, I'm just living my life all the way back to Adam, doing their thing. Mm -hmm. They were walking with the wrong crowd. But here's my question. That is your past. Yep. Why are you presently walking with somebody that's walking and operating like you were in your past? <laughs> you can tell them the word without walking with them. I do not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. walk with the world. How can two walk together except they be in agreement? Mm -hmm. You better watch who you walking with. All right. Keep reading. And ye what? In, in times walked, past, and you walked what? According to the course of this world. Look at this. <laughs> we got off course. I just want, look, I don't want to take all y'all time. I just want to give y'all some words. <laughs> look, it doesn't matter how good you are if you're on the wrong course. Mm. <laughs> I'm a great golf player. Oh, I'm great. I'm great. But you're not on the golf course right now, sir. Ma'am. Ooh, Jesus. This is a go-kart course. But I'm real good at golf. But sir, this is a basketball court. Why are you out here with with these spike shoes on, that doesn't work out here. This is what I do. I'm going to go out there. Oh, man, I was, uh, I was, I don't even know what par and all that means. But I'm real good. I was Tiger Woods level good. It doesn't matter. This is the point I wanted you to understand. It did not matter. It does not matter how much good the world does. Right. They're right. on the wrong course. Course. Amen. Now, I'm playing on words. They're on the wrong course path look mm -hmm. they're on the path that literally leads to the gates of hell mm -hmm. and the those who are on the absolutely right and those who are on the narrow road are on the way to the gate which mm -hmm. is jesus to eternal life jesus said i'm the gate to uh -huh. eternal life amen i'm the way that you're walking on and i'm the gate yeah, I, I heard that apostle. What's that? Because there's you say you're walking through the gates of hell, mm -hmm. but you're walking through the gate. Gate, right? Of eternal life. A million ways to hell. A million ways, yes. Not one way out, but only one way to Jesus yes. Christ. And every they're doing everything in their power to find another way. <laughs> well, I can do this and still be saved, really. Mm -mm. Stand by. 
Let's put that to the test. I'm going off of the book. Jesus said in the volume of the book, it is written of me. Hallelujah. And his way is the only way. Lord. Truth and the light. Mm -hmm. And yep. no man can come to the Father. So here's the thing. We were on the wrong course. Look, it sounds mm -hmm. horrible. We were on the wrong course. We might look, look, you can be like, picture this. If you on a road and this road literally ends in you falling off a cliff 5,000 mm -hmm. feet to your death. And it's moving. The only way to do it is to get off course before you get to the end. But that's because once you get to the end, there's huge walls. You can't run back out. You're going to die. Mm -hmm. You can hand out water and food. Hey, man, you thirsty. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm thirsty. I won't drink this water. Here you go, brother. Oh, man, thank you, man. You're so kind. Yeah, yeah. I try to treat people. I, I, I treat people nice. You know, hey, man, you can go in front of me. How nice is that? You can go mm. in front of me on your way. To, <laughs> that means you go to hell yeah. faster, right? You, you, by all means, you can go in front of me. Oh, no, I treat people. I love, I love everybody. Mm. I don't reject anybody. I'm a loving person. Mm. It doesn't matter how good you are. You're mm. on the wrong course. Mm -mm -mm. I was on the wrong course. I was walking with my homies. Some people go to hell with the bloods. Some people go with the crips. They all on the same road. Some people go to hell with the, with the, the, the voodoo people. Some people go to hell by just growing up and having a great family and a good job in a 401k. Never harmed anybody. Never even said a curse word. Married, the swipe, uh, high school sweetheart. Married as a virgin. Never slept with anyone. Just married. How could God... Look at all of the good I did. You're on the wrong right. course. And it's leading to destruction. And many, the majority of them are going in threat. He said, you were on your way. You were going after the course of this world. And that mm. course was in alignment with the devil. Yep. Re keep reading. What did he say? According to the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. We were in agreement with the devil. And I, I'm, I'm going to give you all really briefly because we got a little bit of time left. Just a quick nugget on why Satan is called the prince of the power of the air. Very important to understand this. So the principalities. The word prince means ruler and palities basically like we have principalities manipulated, uh, uh, not manipulative municipals all right these are different structures of government mm -hmm. satan's kingdom is set up like that god's kingdom is set up like that matter of fact satan yes. imitates god's setup of his kingdom mm -hmm. so if you really want to get a deeper understanding of how god's kingdom is roughly set up without the sin if you look at satan's you'll see what he he does he you know father son holy ghost is the devil the antichrist and the false prophet does the same thing. He sets up his mm -hmm. angels and demons over mm -hmm. regions. Well, they, each person, each demon that is over a region, and that word air, you can underline it. It literally means atmosphere, the atmosphere, the our literal mm -hmm. atmosphere, mm -hmm. almost as if demons are in orbit. Almost. I don't know if it is, but obviously they, they are in a different dimension. They're in the, a realm called the spirit, the realm of the spirit, unseen, right? So, these demons are over specific regions and Satan is their principality. He's their prince. He's the prince over those who have the power over that atmospheric region of earth. The air. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I'm just showing y'all. Right. So he has mm -hmm. control. Watch this. Satan is control over this in, in charge of this demon, this demon or group of demons that cover a specific region on planet earth mm. from the atmosphere. Watch me. Mm. The mm. nation of America, California, principalities of California, the powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world. And we were on course with them. Mm -hmm. That's why the sin in different regions is different. Mm -hmm. Where I grew up in Detroit, we was, oh, we was in the hood, but we didn't have gangs. 
Matter of fact, we would we would be like, I mean, they had gangs, but they weren't like the Bloods and the Crips. It was stuff that was here today, gone tomorrow. And then you found on the news, yes, it was gang violence. Like, gang violence? My man stepped on his shoe. He got mad at him. You know the whole story. It had nothing to do with colors or anything. But in that region, you go to Las Vegas, it's a different spirit. Mm -hmm. And the people operate. That's why they go and say, whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. You go to San Francisco, it's a different one. You go to LA, it's a different one. You go to Florida, it's a different spirit. And this is the principalities over this region. If you go to California, it's just corrupted with witchcraft. Corrupted with witchcraft. I told y'all before, the Hollywood, the holly tree. It is the wood from the holly tree that they use to make wands to cast their spells. Mm -hmm. California is steeped in demonic rituals. And every region... Satan had control. There are powers that have control. And he is the prince of them. Mm -hmm. And we were walking doing what they said. Not what thus saith the Lord. Dead. Mm. Walking in accordance and in alignment with the devil. With the and he devil. saved me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Glory to his name. I'm going to give it to you quick. He said it like this. He said, among whom also... He said, we, the children of disobedience, I just want you to hear this. He called them the offspring of disobedience. They can't do anything but disobey. And I was working with them. You were working with them. You said, but I wasn't doing much. You were with them. God put you in their camp. You might not have been the leader. <laughs> you might not have been the leader of the gang, but you had on a bandana. <laughs> You were you were right in line with the devil in his kingdom. And he says, in times past, you were in your lust of the flesh and the desires of the, the flesh and the, of the mind mm -hmm. and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. And then what does it say right after that? The, the first two words of, of verse four, says the trainer. But God. That's all I got to say. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. But. Yes, sir. <laughs> But God. We're not going to read anymore. We'll get over to that the next time. But I want you yes. to see it. it. Look, I was rolling with the children of disobedience and became the children mm -hmm. of wrath. Mm -hmm. Do you know those that are not saved are under a sentence of wrath? Mm -hmm. Write this down. The sentence of wrath is twofold. It might be more manifold, but two major sections. We don't know all of what's going to happen with the wrath. But the wrath of the children of wrath, people who are under this wrath, they are under the sentence to go to hell. And really, that's a I'm saying that wrong. They're they're in they're they're in the sentence to go to hell, all parts. Hades, mm. which was fire and torment. And then eventually they will have to go into the lake of fire. They will have a brief moment of no pain when they stand in front of God on the day of judgment after the tribulation of the return of the Lord Jesus Christ and the thousand year reign, we will stand every, they will stand before Jesus Christ, find out why they've been burning in hell. They already know, but he's going to remind them and then give them the final sentence and they will go into the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. The second part of the, them being under the wrath of God is a specific period in the world that is called the wrath of God. God will pour out seven judgments upon the planet. And they're going to eat every one of them. Boils and sores from taking the mark of the beast. Number one, they're going to be deceived. They're going to be deceived by the, the Antichrist. Because they're not born again. Their eyes are closed. He's going to speak their dead language. And they're going to eat it up. People who you thought, it's no way. They've been in church. They heard about it. They were never born again. And when they hear it, they're going to say, this is the right way. And you're going to be like, no, 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 no. Don't try to convince them. Just tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. Every man must face the choices he makes. Every woman must face. Look. Jesus, look, I'm going to say it to you like this. And this is a hard pill to swallow. Jesus said, no man. What did, how did he say it? And I'm going to ask you, Mark, because my brain is just tripping out. When he says, he says, uh, 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 
unless a man hates his father and his mother and the members of his own family, he's not fit for me. Mm -hmm. And he's like, what do you mean hate? If your love for me doesn't make your love that look that you have for your family almost seem like hate, you don't really love me. You're like, what? That doesn't make sense. What he's saying is, don't make the same mistake Adam did. Adam mm-hmm. loved his wife so much, him not being deceived, the devil deceived Eve, and she mm-hmm. bit the fruit, and the Bible says she gave it to her husband who was with her. So Adam was right there watching her speak to the mm-hmm. serpent, yep. saw her be deceived. And the Bible in first, I think it's first Timothy says he was not deceived. He took the fruit and said, she went into sin and I love her. That's why the first person he blamed was her. The woman you gave me, I, I love. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> yep. He was cast forth. Jesus didn't do that. Jesus died for his bride. <laughs> <laughs> But this time he didn't go into sin. He became sin <laughs> for us who knew no sin that he may become, that we may become the righteousness of God. If you love your family enough to mm-hmm. walk away from. Yes. Some of our children will say no. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking to the world. I ain't talking to the people that's online. Some of them might say no. You can't make nobody, you can't make anyone get saved. But you know what we can do? Preach to them until smoke comes. Because some of them jokers no, might get saved with a little bit of fire on their shoulder and they put Man. it out, Lord, I'm back. I'm I you I was wrong. <laughs> Amen. And they might come in on the last thing smoking. So don't give up on them, but never yeah. compromise the word of God for anybody i am never going to be a one of the children of wrath ever again i am never going to be the one of the children of disobedience again again i will never be on that wrong course i'm playing golf on the right course amen Mm -hmm. i'm walking on the the narrow road i don't want to go on even if i make a mistake and touch that wide road i just slap my leg back and put it back on the right road and get back to walking because we have been saved from so much. And this is what I want to say to you. I didn't even cover half of the stuff he saved us from. <laughs> My Lord. So that's all I have. Glory to your name, Jesus. I pray that somebody heard your word. And I pray that it touched somebody's heart. And I pray that they watch this video over and over again and say, yes, you know what, yes, Lord. Lord, open my eyes that I can see. Lord, breathe into me and resurrect me mm-hmm. from being dead in sin and dead in trespasses. Let me, I don't want to fall over and over again. Lord, I don't want to keep missing the mark. Lord, resurrect me. Strengthen my knees that I may walk. Strengthen my feet that I can run for you. Lord, let me move for you. Let me, let me have my being in you, Lord. Let me be with you. I just want you. I don't want to be on the so- wrong course. I don't want to be with the enemy. I don't want to be with the prince of the power of whatever that is. I don't want none of that. I want to be with the prince of peace. I want to be with the everlasting father and the mighty God. Let them say that. Save me. That's what I pray that they say in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Oh, my God.